Welcome, FG fam, to another episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise here on Madden 22 Next Gen. Today, we take a trip to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida to take on my personal favorite NFL team in the Miami Dolphins, Tua Tugavailoa, taking helm of the offense for full time this season with rookie wide receiver Jalen Waddle, his former college teammate at the University of Alabama. And you can see QBR and his short completion rate, Tua having a mediocre season. He is looking to kind of learn and really take the reins of this Miami Dolphin offense. And we are going to attempt to defend this offense, which has added Le'Veon Bell as its main ball carrier. We are going to try to defend him today. If we can take him out of the game and make the Dolphins a one-dimensional team in which Tua has got to lead them, I think we've got a better chance. So that is what we're going to try to do here. We're the number six scoring offense in the league. Matt Ryan is a piece of that. Of course, he's made a lot of good throws between the 20s. His touchdown numbers, not exactly there, but we've got the Falcons at the Dolphins here today. Drop a like on the video as we are set to get underway here with Young Hue Ku with the big kick. And he hits it through the back of the end zone. And Tua Tungavailoa will be coming out to lead this offense right away. 1,200 yards so far on the season. Seven touchdowns, three interceptions as he leads this offense out there. Le'Veon Bell wearing 31 for Miami. He's there in right in the shotgun. And Tua is hit right away on the first play by Grady Jarrett. So now that would lead to a third and 18 later on. Here's Tua with a pretty clean pocket. He's got some time, throws it outside, and it is caught by another newcomer to this offense this season, Will Fuller, the former Texan, making a big play there to get him to the 46. It's second and 10 now. Here's Tua right side, and it is anticipated and intercepted by Gary and Conley, who makes a move. And he will score. Gary and Connolly, the newcomer to this Falcons defense, picked up in the preseason from the free agent wire, making a big play on the pick six. So the offense and Tua comes right back out. And Marlon Davidson starts it off with a, a sack. Foyasad Aloakin injured on the play. It'll be second and 17 now for Miami from their own 18. Tua under pressure, throws, and it's intercepted again. It's Gary and Conley for a second time. Tua has started this game abysmally. Matt Ryan will come out onto the field for the first time. It's not been a good season touchdown to interception ratio-wise. Three touchdowns, seven picks. It's been off to a slow start in that regard, and Mike Davis is caught for a loss of five on first down. It'll be second and 15. Aloakin just experiencing some muscle cramps. He'll be back out soon, so no real concern there. Matt Ryan under the gun. Second and 15. He's going to hand it to Cordero Patterson, who will get to the 21 with a gain of six. Kyle Pitts. Injured on the play. It'll be a third and nine without Kyle Pitts on the field. That's tough for this Atlanta offense. Here's Matt Ryan, and he drops back. He's going to roll to the right. Looks like maybe he was going to take off. A lot of guys coming in on him, and he throws it to Russell Gage in the front right-hand corner of the end zone. So Atlanta takes a 14-0 lead off of the two Gary and Conley interceptions. Here goes Le'Veon Bell. Got to contain him. And Nitain Muti getting hurt on the play after the gain of three. So here's Tua. He's got some time. And look at the crossing route run pretty well there. Complete for the first down. Preston Williams a part of that one. It'll be third and four for Miami from the Falcon 49. 
Miami moving the ball well for the first time today. There goes Preston Williams again, breaking free from some tackles and getting to the 22-yard line. That's pretty good for Preston. Here's Tua from the gun on third and 10, throwing deep right-hand corner of the end zone through the hands of his intended target and incomplete. It'll be fourth and 10. Dolphins will take the field goal. It's 14 to three. Here goes Mike Davis on second and six. And he will just pick up one. It'll be a third and five. Good stop for McCourty. Matt Ryan from the gun on third and five. He will take the snap, rolling to the right-hand side, being chased, and he will be sacked by Emmanuel Ogba. The man with eight and a half sacks last season gets one here. And it'll be Dolphin football. There goes Le'Veon Bell. This is what the Falcons wanted to contain. These big inside zone runs from Le'Veon Bell. So it'll be second and 10 here from their own 39. Play fake from Tua. Gets it away to Waddle who makes a great cut. Cuts to the right side and he is gone. Nobody's catching the ever so speedy Jalen Waddle. Him and his former college quarterback hooking up for a touchdown. The first one of the day for the Dolphins. Here's Cordero Patterson on the ensuing possession. He'll pick up six yards. He's been running the ball pretty well this season. Third and four. Matt Ryan finds an open Calvin Ridley. And you don't want to put a linebacker on Calvin Ridley. Jerome Baker on him is a crime as he picks up a bunch all the way to the 15. Mike Davis on first and 10 trying to run this defense over. He will get to the one. And the Falcons just a yard from pay dirt here at 14 to 10. It'll be first and goal from the one yard line. They got Hayden Hurst in motion to the right. If you're gonna have a backup to Kyle Pitts, that is not a bad one to have. They go with the fake fullback pitch and Davis is hit in the backfield for a big loss. That ends the first quarter. We got a heck of a game here. We'll be right back. So the Dolphins have come out firing after going down 14 zip. Here goes Cordero Patterson on third and goal. He gets nowhere. And that'll bring in Young Hue Ku to try to make it. No, it will not. Fourth and goal. They're going for it. And Cordero Patterson is stuffed. Probably the wrong running back to have out there. And out comes Tua. He's 5 of 13 so far with a touchdown and two picks. But he's thrown for over 130 yards in, in just over a quarter. Here's a right side throw. This time Conley doesn't anticipate. It's a late anticipation and Waddle will break free. And once again, you are not catching Jalen Waddle in the open field. He is gone. Touchdown, Dolphins take the lead. Should have been a 17-10 game. Instead, it's 17-14 the other way. Here's Kyle Pitts back in the game now though. And on third and eight, he makes a big play to pick up a first down. Matt Ryan's three of three for over 100 yards and a touchdown. Don't look now, he's having a wonderful game. Here they're gonna run the football. They got Mike Davis running a nice balanced offense, Atlanta does. And eight runs for 17 for Mike Davis thus far. Second and two, they go play fake to Davis. Ryan will just go right side to his tight end, Rain, and Rain will find his way to the 17 yard line. So first and 10. Later on would be third and one from the eight. Matt Ryan calling for a man in motion. He is gonna hand it to Mike Davis. Davis is not getting there. Does not get it done. It'll be fourth and one. Very good stop. This time they will take the field goal and the tie ball game. We're knotted up at 17 with 3.35 to go in the half. Here's Tua on a play fake. He's going for it all. Waddle's open, and he actually overthrew Jalen Waddle. A tough task to perform, but he's done it. Second and 10, they go play fake. He's going to throw middle of the field. It's Preston Williams. That's complete to the 44-yard line. Now third and eight. Here's Tua, he's gonna go right side. That is complete, Preston Williams again. There's no Devontae Parker in this ball game. So now they're gonna try a long field goal from Jason Sanders, and this one is good. That was a heck of a field goal. And it is hit before the half, so the Dolphins will hold the 20 to 17 lead going into the half. We'll be right back. 
Now back for the halftime report. Giants hold a 14-9 lead over Sam Darnold and the Panthers. The Jets are getting blanked 14-zip. Look at Zach Wilson. He's 0 for 4 with a minute left in the half. That is terrible. Chiefs hold a 21-13 lead over the Titans. Let's get back down onto the field, take a look at some next-gen stats. Atlanta Falcons inside running attempt frequency 41.3%. For the Dolphins, it's around 22%. Let's see what happens here in this second half. Matt Ryan, right side throw. He's got Kyle Pitts to the 34-yard line. Falcons starting with this ball. They want to score to start this half. Third and one. Here's the throw up the middle, and it's knocked away. Great defense. And out come the Dolphins. And only two pass receptions for, by Jalen Waddle. They both went for long touchdowns. Here's Tua Tungabailoa on first and 10, throwing, and he finds Jalen Waddle on their first offensive play of the half. First down, Dolphins. First and 10, here's Tua under the gun and throwing right side. He has found Mike Gesicki to the 47-yard line of Atlanta. They are moving the ball here, third and two. Can the Falcons get him off the field? No, Le'Veon Bell finding ways to scoot past the defense. He'll get to the 36-yard line with another Dolphin first down. First and 10, Miami. Play fake to Le'Veon, and Tua's got some time in the pocket. He throws it across the middle. It goes to Will Fuller. First down, Dolphins just continuing to play well. Now here's Tua, he's going to actually give this one to Le'Veon and he is close to the first down marker. They will mark him with a first. It is third and nine now from the 10. Here's Tua throwing right side, that is complete, but Deion Jones, nice job bringing down Le'Veon. So Jason Sanders comes out for the 27 yard chip shot and he hits to give the Dolphins the six point lead. Copeland injured on the play. We'll see. He should be coming back. Here's Ryan, and he's going to give it to Cordero Patterson, who breaks free. Nice job hiding behind blockers and then cutting out. First down for Cordero Patterson. On the next play, Matt Ryan dropping back, looking to throw right side, and he's got his man Josh Gordon on the sidelines. Second and 12 here for Atlanta. On that ensuing set of downs, Matt Ryan's gonna take off and slide at the 43-yard line of Miami. It'll be third and four. Matt Ryan again, this time gonna roll to his right and overthrows his intended target, Russell Gage. Fourth and four, they're gonna go for it here. Matt Ryan gonna roll right again and he finds a wide open Calvin Ridley who gets the toe drag swag at the 22 yard line. So Atlanta's drive continues here with 138 to go in the third. They're gonna run it with Mike Davis and Davis bowling over some defenders to the 15. It'll be third and three. Atlanta on third and three, going to the back corner of the end zone and Kyle Pitts couldn't make the grab. So Youngway Koo will cut the lead in half from six back down to three. 23-20, 53 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Tua. And Tua trying to get away from the rush. He's brought down. Grady Jarrett with his second sack of the day. That's a big one. It'll be second and 22. They're going to play fake it to Le'Veon. Tua from his own end zone hits Will Fuller near midfield. And he gets to the Falcon 47 with 13 seconds to go in the quarter. That's going to end the quarter. Dolphins with 420 passing yards. We'll be back. We know this Falcons defense is not up to snuff, but man, they are making Tua look like a lefty Dan Marino. If he had more time, he'd probably be doing better. There's a sack, Grady Jarrett again, and this time it's a fumble. Ball goes to Atlanta, right side throw. There's Cordero Patterson. Hey, he used to be a receiver. He can do these things. He sneaks past the defender, picking up a first down. It'll be second and eight for Matt Ryan in the offense. 8.35 to play in the game. Here goes Calvin Ridley trying to bob and weave his way. He'll pick up a couple, and Kyle Pitts will be injured again. Can this guy stay on the field today? This team might need him. Here's a run for Cordero Patterson. He will get to the 12 on third and six. That's not going to be good enough. 
But Young Hui Ku comes back out and will tie the ball game with a 29-yard chip shot field goal. Looks like Kyle Pitts has some bruised ribs, but will return soon. That sounds a little more serious than will return soon, but he'll be back. There's a run for Le'Veon Bell. He's got 12 for 48. Not bad production for the older gentleman. Here's Tua throwing right side. He's got Gasicki who breaks free, but then steps out of bounds. So he gets him to the 48-yard line. Now from the opposing 48 on second and six. Look at this, wide open Mike Gasicki. Luckily, he's just not good at keeping himself in bounds, so he goes out of bound again. Here's third and 13. It's picked off again. Gary and Conley having himself a career day and really playing for that big contract. And here is another injury for Miami. There's been injuries aplenty in this ball game. It's first and 10. Here goes Mike Davis, and Davis inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. It'll be second and five. Here's Matt Ryan. He is going to roll to his right side, and he's going to take off. He gets to the 43-yard line with a gain of two. He gets to the 41, excuse me, with a gain of two. It'll be third and two. Here's Mike Davis. Won't get there. Just a yard gained. He's only got 38 yards rushing. He's not been great. Here's a 57-yarder from Koo, and it is wide to the right. Might have had enough distance. It might not have even been long enough. Here's Tua with 3.35 to go. He throws it up the middle, and that is complete to the 36-yard line. Tua now going to hand it off to Le'Veon on second and 10. Nowhere for Le'Veon Bell to go. He loses a couple. Foya Sadaloakin gets in there with the tackle. It'll be third and 17 for Tua in the offense. And here he drops back. He's going to throw it across the middle. That is complete. Not a first down, however, it is a fourth and nine. This would be a 52-yard hit. And it is no good short by Jason Sanders, one of the league's best. So Falcons get another opportunity here. Here's Matt Ryan looking for the deep shot to Josh Gordon, and incomplete it is. Hey, you take a shot on first down every once in a while. Here's Matt Ryan on second and ten. 1.45 to play in the game. Matt Ryan's going to take off with it. Matt Ryan running for a lot of yards, and he will step out of bounds at the 34-yard line. He's got four runs for 40. Matt Ryan, you got to watch out, man. He's not the slowest. Here he's going to run the football, and Mike Davis will lose it. It is picked up by Miami. Jerome Baker on the recovery, and Tua gets another chance with his offense. A lot of turnovers today, just a sloppy Sloppy game. There's a first down throw from Tua. They go no huddle. First and 10. Tua up the middle to Le'Veon Bell. He's a great pass catcher out of the backfield, and he does it again there. It'll be second and inches. Tua looking for somebody else. He'll find Le'Veon Bell again. Breaks a tackle, slips up the right side, and goes out of bounds. Will this be the last drive of the game? Miami looking like they want to waste the time. And they will run Le'Veon Bell. Atlanta will get a timeout somewhere in there to ice the kicker. Fourth and two. And Jason Sanders will nail the field goal from 33 yards out. Atlanta might have one play, and here it is. A Hail Mary from Matt Ryan. He's going to let loose up the middle of the field. Russell Gage is there. He got a hand on it, but with three Dolphins, it will fall harmlessly to the ground. And Atlanta falls short again in another late effort against, I mean, I guess you would call Miami a better team, just like Washington. So a couple of three-point losses that hurt Atlanta here from being a better team than they even are, but they have got to get the turnovers figured out for sure. Matt Ryan, 11 of 18, 236 yards, a touchdown, no interception. So it wasn't Matt Ryan turning the football over today. Tua had two touchdowns, three picks. He looked a little bit like a gunslinger out there. Le'Veon Bell led the game in rushing. Matt Ryan led the Falcons in rushing. Waddle ended up with five catches, two of them for long touchdowns and nearly 200 yards. He had a hell of a coming out party here against Atlanta. Sack-wise, Grady Jarrett had a couple. Kaminsky and Marlon Davidson got one. The only one for Miami came from Ogba. Three picks from Gary and Conley. He just had a wonderful day. And then a forced fumble for both Jerome Baker and Grady Jarrett. 
So this is what the injury report is looking like. Davidson, broken ribs, he's gonna be out a couple weeks. Upper arm fracture for Copeland, he's actually gonna be out for three weeks. So we've got some injuries to deal with. The Browns get a win, the Giants, the Pats, Tennessee over KC, Green Bay gets a win. Cincinnati upsets Baltimore on the road. The Rams beat the Lions, so Stafford against his former team. The Raiders score 76 points against Philadelphia to get a win. Arizona wins, Tampa wins, San Francisco wins, and in what might have been the game of the week on Monday Night Football, Seattle holding off New Orleans. That was a dogfight all the way through. Russell Wilson ends up player of the week on offense because of it. Gary on Connolly, player of the week on defense in the NFC. And both players of the week in the AFC come from the Raiders, probably well-deserved with 76 points scored. Couple of 6-1 and one teams in the AFC North. Got to watch out there. Titans are 6-1 and one and leading the South. Pats 5-2, leading the East. And the Broncos still in the lead of that AFC West. Packers are 7-0. They've got nobody fighting with them in the NFC North. Panthers are 5-2, leading our division. And the Cowgirls are 5-1, leading the East. Cardinals lead the West at 6-1 on a five-game win streak. So, games coming up next week. Here you go. We're going to be taking on the Panthers. We'll have them visiting our building in the good old ATL. So, we'll see what happens in that one. Should be a very good game. Hope you guys are excited to see that one. Hope you guys had fun in this video. If you did, do me a favor. Leave a comment below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel at all, or maybe you're not, and you just haven't subscribed yet, a lot of our watch time coming from non-subs. Please turn that subscribe button from red to gray. Hit the notifications on so that you get these videos and you can be the first ones in here. Become part of the Noti Squad for the FG Fam. If you want to get deeper in this FG Fam community, make sure you go check out the description below for links to my Discord to come hang out outside of these platforms and links to my Twitch so you can come see me play stuff live and interact with the community. It's always a fun time there. If you guys just want to see some more franchise content, click right here to see some more franchise. I feel you face somehow.